Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Will Cheese Fail, and this time, even though we didn't know until we were in it, but fuck it, we're doing it live. It's a 2v2! Yeah. Will Cheese Fail sent in by you, the fans, to LifeSquishTV at gmail.com. Now, we can't really need, you know, necessarily see the name, so uh, let's just assume something good is in here. Mr. Yeah. Max, let's play. Yeah. Hit me up with the techno goose. Fantastic. Thank Is that you. more or less what it sounded like when you were just sitting on the crapper here about yes. an hour ago? Yes. I wish you okay. wouldn't remind me because it, it makes my stomach go a little <laughs> a little wild here and it makes me feel like I need to go piss out my ass. So, uh, And I'm at that stage where I've eaten so much Pepto that like the shit is like a purplish it's just fucking pink. pinkish. No, it's like it's like dude, not black, but it's like dark. That's what Pepto does. It's not Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, which which is which is concerning, concerning. because when you see dark dark shit you're like am i bleeding no yeah. it's just pepto bismol no. don't worry about it it's pepto doing what pepto <laughs> does man uh speaking of pepto m's been on the pepto too and oh. uh like crazy because she's uh, she got acid reflux mm. and um uh she left a little cup on the counter like after she had taken some like middle of the night because she was just half asleep take and there was um uh and i had moved it onto another part of the countertop later in the day when i woke up and when I came back later, mm -hmm. it straight up stained the fucking quartz. What? What is in Pepto? It stained the quartz? Like stain stained it? Stained the quartz. I had, yeah, I had to like wipe it down and then I had to leave like alcohol cloth with a weight on top of it to draw the rest of the stain out of the quartz. Cause quartz, you can eventually Damn. get stains out of quartz. It's not, yeah, but, but yeah, dude, I was like, the fuck is in Pepto? Jesus. Oh, what the fuck is this? What's in this cheese? I yeah. mean, this what is, is yeah, what's in this cheese? These guys are working together, okay? So we've got a Protoss and a Terran yeah. uh, down here. Yeah. And then up top, we've got two Protoss. One guy looked like he was going to, uh, well, he's attempting to do a cannon rush. It got sniffed out pretty yeah. quick. But over here, we've got some double cheese and a 2v2 action. So both players proxying all of the things. It's going to be going for, like, uh, Marines with Zealots, which can work in a 2v2 simply because... You don't necessarily need to get um, a cyber core and get stalkers. You can basically no, the use Marines the zealots are doing it for because you. exactly because the marines are going to get the range and they're going to be able to do the kiting, while the zealots basically just do the brunt. They're 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 the meat shield. They're they're going to go aggro. Uh, so I'm actually interested to see how this works out. I mean, both players here going all in with this. We got one large Art Damn. artosis pylon. We got five zealots brewing. Uh, you can also get extra strategic. And uh, start oh, no. uh, start handing people minerals as well. So like one person can just get a bunch of gas or go heavy with probes and start feeding. Uh oh, we got some BM happening here. Oh Learn yeah. Learn to play. All right. So mm. he's talking talking smack about this uh, this cheesy Protoss yes. player, and it's not going to work <laughs> out for the, for for this guy because little does he know, uh, this is death. Yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad time. That's going to be a hell of a thing to try and stop. Uh, you know, it, it's <laughs> they got cheese. They stopped it and they said, "Fuck it." Anything you can do, I can do better. And so here they go, going up into the base now. That expansion is going to catch the first wave. Uh, they're going to run right past it and into oh. the mineral line. Looks like they want to get rid of everything. Oh, pylons. sniping the pylons too to stop anything yep. coming out of the Stargate yep. is the way to go. They're the Marines. All the probes vacate the premises immediately to try to get out of there and to the partner's base to salvage it. But, I mean, this whole base is basically toasted. They've got three whole stalkers to try and stop this uh, when they do get up into the ramp. But even if they were to do any amount of defense here... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Finish the finish. He needs to get rid of that nexus and then go at these. He's not doing that. What are you doing? There Very you well okay. played, though, here right. from uh, a funky avocado. Funky avocado. If I was him, I would keep doing what he's doing. Use your probes. Use the stalker's range. Try not to have any of these uh, stalkers die. You know, yeah, he's getting melted right now, and he's losing the vast majority of his probes, but his opponents are all in. Like, all in. There ain't shit and this back is the at base. the stalker count keeps going up. Yes, it does. And, and this eventually, is... the stalker count is going to melt these marines, and losing this Protoss base isn't going to mean anything. Correct. The marine health is really low. The yep. zealot health is low. The shields aren't even recharged from the last volley. 
He oh. gets like he might oh. even need not even need anymore. He gets oh. like two, three more stalkers. Oh, it's I over. I think there's a chance that Is he's he winning pull this, this shit, Mr. Black. Okay. I think he's doing it. Three, that's four more stalkers. Oh, it's four more coming in the pipe. He's, he's gonna, gonna be one... able to a move here yeah. in a second. He's basically one volleying each uh, zealot. And zealots, as I was saying earlier, is gonna be your meat shield. Once those are out of the way, I mean, these stalkers are gonna be kiting these uh, these marines all day long. And like you said, there ain't no health left on these bad boys. And they're streaming them in basically one at a time, which is not what you want to do at this point. It's over. Man, I think, man, it's still going to be, uh, you know, he still has to be careful in micro, but he's in some pretty good shape right now. If he gets a couple of zealots yeah. of his own, might yeah. even be a, a good idea. Not a lot, just enough to get Where's in he front going? so that his stalkers don't have to constantly be kiting all the time would be probably pretty helpful because otherwise it feels like oh. he's going to be kind of like stuck in here, but that's a big W there. He's going to be able to push out, and now he's going to be able to intercept as they're still just like they're they're just sending units out of the buildings directly to this ramp and they're not ready for anything they're not ready to attack they're getting all of their damage early the stalkers are now going to be able to turn the tide yep. and now we've got scvs showing oh. up on the scene as a factory ford factory is here oh my god if he sees that artos spine one. Oh, then it's over it's one i mean it's already over I, it, it, they were setting these rally points going up and they weren't really doing anything the the, uh, the stalkers were just able to kite all day long and now that that's there he should come down here to look for this and he doesn't oh he's wow oh he's no. red just got real lucky there got real Where lucky he going? he's going right down to the Where base is he going? Is he going? Is he and going? you know what okay. I, I mean he doesn't have much here i think if he can get some warp cycles to use these batteries he might be good to do a base race but i would have just preferred him to continue to go down here get rid of that pile on and it's over yeah, I mean, he's got a Ford Stargate, I think, down the on the right-hand no, side. That's a gateway. Uh, no, it's gateway. Okay, so he does have an Oracle somewhere building. I don't know where right the Stargate here? is. Uh, yep. It's right there. Okay, so the Oracle is going to come out. Uh, and really, if I was getting an Oracle, I'd just be looking for where the Ford bases are with my stalkers and sending the Oracle to their clearly wide-open bases uh, back home. But at the same time, you know what? What am I saying? This guy is now two v one. Yep. Stalkers only, basically, in a dream. Uh, yep. If he wins with any way, shape, or form, he's done well. But unfortunately, by doing what he's done, yeah. sadly, he has left his base wide open and allowed his opponents to amass a lot of units that even if the Stalkers were home, I don't think he's stopping that. There's there it is. Well, now, the Stalkers uh, are coming home. Oh and if he pulls his God. probes and he overcharges the battery, unfortunately, Scope here going after a pylon like it means something. Oh, all it is is no. one battery, and he's allowing all of his Marines to get killed by these Stalkers. He needed those Zealots in the fight alongside him. He doesn't do it. He is going to lose his army here. But with that being said, what else do we have? We got one Oracle. Oh, my God. He could have won this game if he just would have come down here. Oh, he's, did he throw? He kind of threw. Oh, he 100% he threw. threw. He like, threw when he went down instead of just staying at home uh, and uh, and continuing to uh, push down uh, to find their uh, their four. I mean, what's weird is that is that like if he had just killed the units and then oof, went down oof. and never saw the factory, like, okay, sure. But he saw the factory, which means he knows that they're proxy. So yeah. why not just push into the proxy and finish the job? Yeah. You know, now they've got a shield battery here. They're building up like crazy. He's going to be floating around. He's got no production left. He's got a 17 kill Oracle. But I mean, oh, shit, he a toddler didn't kill the Nexus, though. He didn't kill the Nexus. Oh. He needs to focus with these stalkers and get rid of this Nexus. Just kill the Nexus and leave and regroup. Oh, my God. He's taking a horrible, horrible fight here. The Zealots, though, getting all clumped up in between those two gateways. He's going to be able to clean this up. Dang, it's what still going to be close. What is this, going this on? This game is wild. What, what is happening? How this is this still going? Throws everywhere. He did not kill this Nexus. Why? It's like both players or both teams, they do really well, and they're about to win, and then they throw, and then they... Are about to win again. Do they the other have side any throws. economy? They got they got no economy, dude. That one. No, that, that one, one Oracle. Oracle went Look. to work. And now, so that's got, giving him time. Yes, seventeen oh kills God. on that Oracle and a and a void race coming out.
Uh, that's gonna be GG. Yeah. That, that Void Ray comes out. He cannot allow that Void Ray to come out. Unfortunately, this Oracle no. here is the actual MVP of the game. And funny enough, it's Roy's Oracle, the guy who originally was it's attacked true. and killed. He managed to get a pylon back code and build an Oracle, which has completely changed the game. Wow. Dude, I can't believe that even after being left alone that they are somehow still losing this. I can't even believe it. They had so much opportunity. They wasted it. They didn't kill the Nexus. They diddled around without, you know, actually finishing the job. And oh, now... That's it. That's it. Now it's game. Yep. Holy shit. Oh, please tell me you're going to say learn to play. you got to return the favor oh, on that dude. shit. You can't let that please. slide. Please say learn you to play. You can't let that slide. Oh, one guy left. Oh, He's not going to allow him. Judgment Quick. Day left. He's not even going to let him. Quick. Somebody is say he, learn to play. Gonna, is, the other, is the other guy on raid going to say something before he rage quits? Is he getting oh! the last word? No! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Funky oh. Avocado drops yes. the hammer. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. I mean, the game was funky. Um, speaking of the funky avocado, the game, the game was, the game was interesting, but it was action packed. Was and it was back and place. forth. It was all over the place. <laughs> but man, there is just something so nice about a BM player talking shit, and then you hit him That's with right. the same line, and then they rage That's quit. Right. It doesn't get any better awesome. than that, Adam. It doesn't get any better not. than that. Uh, well, mistakenly cast a two v two, and I'm not even upset about it. Uh, if you guys nah. want to submit your games, life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. That email is in the description. And if you want a guaranteed cast, go pick, get yourself a, a NordVPN subscription and uh, take a screenshot of that order and send that along with a replay of your choice, and we will cast it as long as it's under 30 minutes. I ain't doing no 45-minute marathon of some gold-level uh, gold players. Y'all will have me back on the toilet again, all right? And that's the last place I want to be, and that's about it. Adam, <laughs> you have anything else to say? No. Nah, okay. Nah, right. You're good. All right. Well, we're going to the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Hit that damn like button.